G'day everyone. Today's video, we're looking at high intensity discharge lighting. There's three main types of high intensity discharge lighting. First of all, this one here is a metal halide lamp. There's also mercury vapor and high pressure sodium. The ability to know and wire up one of these circuits is one of the criteria for becoming an electrician in New Zealand. Also, if you're from overseas, coming to New Zealand and exchanging your license, you will need to go on a course and know how to do one of these. So it's crucial information to actually know how to wire one of these circuits. In the field, you do come across these and sometimes the owners would prefer to repair these fittings rather than put new UFOs up. However, that's up to the person. Of course, nowadays, these types of fittings are sort of becoming obsolete so the parts aren't being supplied or manufactured as much as they were in previous years. So we'll flip this one on. That if the power is interrupted to one of these fittings, it will require a restart delay time. So you may have to wait between one and 10 minutes, depending on what type of lamp has been used. Inside one of these fittings, there are five main components. The first one, is a current limiting ballast. The next one is an igniter, a capacitor, a 10 amp fuse, and an E40 lamp holder. I'm gonna quickly wire up the circuit and demonstrate the circuit design to show you guys what the internal circuit looks like. All right, so I'm gonna start at the front of the circuit with the fuse holder. The other thing is I won't be doing the urethane because I have no chassis to set the circuit in but the earth would go out to a bolt on the chassis inside the actual fitting. So the first thing we want to think about are the phase and neutral cables coming from this fuse connection block. And the other thing is the capacitor. So generally, your capacitors are gonna sit in parallel with the circuit. That means one end will be in the phase and one end will be in the neutral. So this capacitor can be fit off right at the start. So one of the tails, we're gonna put in with our phase cable and screw them in together. And the other end goes with our neutral cable. So that there is the capacitor in the circuit. I'm going to put the fuse in now. The fuse is always at the source or start of the circuit where it comes into the light fitting. Going out of the fuse on the phase, we're going to go into the current limiting ballast. So this phase cable here, can go straight into one of the connection points on the inside here of the current limiting ballast. Now we're gonna have a phase cable coming out of the ballast. And then at this point, we're going to connect the igniter into the circuit. On the igniter here, you'll see three terminals, a B, an LP, and an N. N is neutral, LP is the output to the lamp, and B, is the input from the ballast. So this cable coming out of the ballast will go into the B terminal. Now we'll get the lamp holder and connect that into the circuit. So we've got two cables coming out of the lamp holder, a phase and a neutral. Now the neutral is going to go together with our neutral cable from our connector block. So I'll twist those two together. And so the neutral cables are gonna go into the end terminal. Last of all, the red cable from the lamp holder is gonna go into LP terminal. Now quickly connect a plug end to demonstrate it working. Again, don't try this at home. It is a demonstration for people to learn from. That base is pretty secure. I'm only gonna run the circuit long enough to demonstrate it working because I do not want the components to start heating up. All right guys, cheers for watching. Hopefully you learned something new or remembered something that you knew a long time ago.